guide in this video. We're going to look at how to kill some time and have some fun with Ken Ken. Little brain teaser here. I have done some videos in the past. I did get a request to do another one sharing some strategies that I use to solve Ken Kens. And the user that requested this told me uh, they actually get tested on this stuff in class. And I think that's great. Uh, this improves your mental math ability and you get to have a little bit of fun at the same time. A little bit of brain teasing going on here. So what is Ken Ken? Uh, Ken Kens, they come in squares. And in this case, we have a six by six. We see six squares by six squares, which indicates we're going to use the digits one, two, three, four, five, and six. If it was a nine by nine, heaven forbid, that would be a tough one, but you'd have to use the digits one through nine. So that's one of the rules of Ken Ken. Another rule is this. Now, I'm not saying a six goes here, but suppose a six did go here um, and it worked out. Well, that means a six wouldn't get used here or anywhere else in that row, nor will that six get used anywhere else in that column. The rules of Ken Ken are like Sudoku. Once you use a digit, uh, six in this case, it will not get used anywhere else in this row or anywhere else in that column that it's in. Therefore, each digit will appear only once in each row and each column. Now, the other rule about Ken Ken, if we look at this little bounded, notice the thick lines versus the thin line. The thick lines bound the region that you want to do your arithmetic with. So these two boxes here need to add. These two numbers need to add to give us seven. If we look right here, look at this uh, thick line set up. These three numbers need to add to give us 10. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it could happen to where maybe you have a 2, a 2, and a 5. That's not breaking any rules in Ken Ken because that 2 is getting used here and here, but they're not sharing the same row, nor are they sharing the same column. So when you have weird shapes like this, and that's the only one we have in this puzzle, now that I'm looking at it a little bit more, you may use the same digit to get the arithmetic, granted that you know your thick lines uh, take over more than one row and one column, as you see here. But again, I'm not saying that's the case, but I'm trying to go over the rules of Ken Ken with you. So we're looking at these operations, and you know, like down here, here's one that's sticking out to me. Four times. Since we're using the digits one through six, we can't use a two and a two because the two would be getting used twice. Therefore, I know right off the bat that a one and a four are going to cover these two spots. So again, two times two will not work. And what this also tells me, since I know a four and a one are going to go here, I can't use a four or a one over here, and I can't use a four or one in these spots either. Well, let's look at this two divide. So I'm starting the puzzle. This is kind of how I get started. I look for easy ones, if there are any, and I start just hacking away at it. So two divide. We want these two numbers inside of these bold lines to divide to give us two. Well, we can't use four divided by two because we know the four is already going to be used in this row. I don't know where in which spot, but I know a four is going to either be here or here. So I can't use a four here or here. That rules out the four divided by two combo. Well, what about two divided by one? Same reason, we can't use the two one combo because a one is definitely gonna go in one of these two spots. That only leaves the six three combo here. Six divided by three will give us two. That's the only one that's gonna work based on how I started this puzzle here. So guaranteed to have a six and a three here and here, four and a one here and here. So that leaves us with what? Uh, fives and twos over here. So I'm gonna come back to that, um, scanning it some more. Look at this 20 times. We want these two boxes here to multiply to give us 20. The only two numbers that are gonna work here are gonna be a five and a four, uh, based on using the digits one through six. Uh, so five and four guaranteed to get used here. Moving on down, look at the seven plus. We can't use the five two combo because the five is guaranteed to go in one of these two spots. So five two, even though that does add to give us seven, we can't use it here. Same thing for the four three combo because the four is gonna definitely get used in one of these two spots in this column. So we can't duplicate that number. That leaves us with just the six one combo. Guaranteed to be a six and a one. We don't know where yet, but guaranteed to be a six and a one in these two spots. That leaves us with the numbers two and three that have to be used down here based on what we've said up here. We started off with five, four in these two spots. Only the six, one combo would work here. So the two, three combo is the only thing we can use down here. 
And now we finally have uh, an official number. If you look across here, I know a two, three, a two or three is going to go in this spot. But earlier I mentioned a three is going to have to go in one of these two spots based on that stuff we started off with back here. So since a three is going to go here or here, we can't use a three right here, which means we have our first official number uh, as a two, guaranteed to be a two right there. So since that's a two, guaranteed to be a three, and looking around some more, can we cross any numbers out? I always look, once you put some numbers down, look and see if you can cross anything out. Well, I don't have a lot written down yet. However, I'm looking at this 20 times inside of these three squares. Well, that's gotta be a five, four, and a one, by the way, because we're multiplying three numbers. We can't do a five times two times two because those, if we did five times two times two, we would have two twos in the same column, and we can't do that. So thinking back to what I said earlier, I know a four and a one have to go here and here, which means the five or the four and the one don't work here, and the five is the only thing that will work for that spot. Now, it goes without saying, your approach may be slightly different than mine. I, I'm, as I'm sitting here working this out, I may overlook something it, that's pretty obvious if you're watching the video. Notice here I'm taking away those fives because I've already used that five in that column. But, uh, it, you know, it'll fix itself if you stick with it, you're persistent, and you just, you know, hack away at it. Take your time. Let's see what happens next. I'm going to move up here to the uh, 7 plus. Is there anything else worth looking at? Well, let's look at this 3 divide since I've kind of got this column somewhat filled out. 3 divide. So I'm thinking 6 divided by 2. Well, that looks like that might work because I know I'm not going to use a 6 or a 2 down here for the 20. Um, what's some other things that we can divide to get 3? Three? 3 divided by 1, right? 3 divided by 1 does not work here because the 1 is already going to get used in this column guaranteed down here. So the 3-1 combo will not work here. Well, look at the number that we're missing. You know, we're going to use a 1 and a 4, a 6 and a 2. That means a 3 must go there. Not only that, now that we had this two divide with this, well, we can't take three divided by one of these numbers to get two, so we have to go the other way and think six divided by three gives us two. So now I think I'm gonna move over here to this seven. Um, well, what about six plus one? That won't work, because the six is already used. So the one six or the six one combo does not work. What about the three four combo? That will not work either, because the three has already been used in that row. That leaves us with only the 5-2 combo here, guaranteed to have a 5 in one of these two spots, which rules out the 5 being used over here since we know a 5 has to get used somewhere in this row. So I'm going to knock out that 5, which means we have a 4 over here, and that automatically knocks out this to guarantee we have a 5 in that spot. So moving on along, uh, we know a two and a five are going to go in these two spots. We've used the six, the three, and the four. That means a one has to go right there, guaranteed, um, because we can't use a one over here because we said the six one combo was broken because of the six that we did back here. Two divide. Well, two divide, we're using a one, so the only number that's going to work in this little two box piece right here is a two. Two divided by one, we know a one goes there, gives us two. Well, look at what else starts to unfold. You may have noticed this sooner than I did. I know a one goes here, so we can't use the one down here, which means we must have a four in this spot. And that means this has to be a one based on what we said earlier. You gotta keep all that old stuff in mind as you go back and do all these various problems. All right, so moving along here, let's see. Where's another good spot to start? Let's look at this seven. All right. So what will not work? Let's rule out some things. Will the 4-3 combo work at all right here? And you may say, well, maybe if we put the 4 here and the 3 here, but no, that's not going to work because if you look over here, the 3 is automatically breaking the 4-3 combo right here. So 4-3 will not work. What about the 6-1 combo? Well, notice the 1 has already been used in this column up here, and then the 1's already been used in this column here. So we can't use the 6-1 combo for this 7. That only leaves us with the 5-2 combo. Well, 5-2 is the only thing that works here. The 2 has already been used in this column, so the 5 must go there, the 2 must go there. That was a tricky spot, but noticing the 3, that 3 ruled out our 4-3 combo. Uh, 
And then the 6-1 combo got ruled out again because the one was already used in that column and the one was already used in this column. So moving on along, what else can we do from here? I'm just gonna kind of start scribbling some things in. Well, what do we have left to use in this column here? We got a, what, three and a six, a three and a six. So I'm just gonna scribble those in. I don't know where they go just yet. Um, and can we rule anything out over here? We still got the six. We don't know where that's gonna go there. What do we have left in this column to use? We have a three, four, and a five. So I'm just gonna scribble those in and some of these are not gonna make sense, but sometimes scribbling may help you solve it. So from here, let's see. We gotta subtract to get one. And we know based on what we've had, the numbers we have left, we have three, four, and five left to use in this column. Well, the only thing that's gonna work for us to subtract to get one are gonna be, well, any of these, five minus four or four minus three. So that's not really helping us too much right there. What about this little row right here, or this little piece right here? We gotta subtract to get two. Um, so five, three would work and then the six and the four would work. So the only thing I can rule out here definitely is gonna be this three that I've scribbled in um, because I can't put a five over here and take five minus three because the five has already been used. But noticing what we have left, five minus three, that might work. Six minus four, that might work to give us the two. But since I've ruled the three out here, that means the three is gonna to have to go up here, which is not very helpful because we can still take uh, well, no, it is helpful actually because now I know, well, five is not gonna go here because uh, five minus, since a three has to go in one of these spots because we ruled it out down here, uh, the three is gonna have to pair it with the four to subtract to give us one. So a little bit tricky right there too. Um, so I'm gonna erase those fives, guaranteed not to have a five in there because we gotta use the three in one of these two spots. So from here, since we know the five is not gonna get used there or there, that means the five has to get used here, which means the three has to get used here. And that leaves us with the six there. Well, that six is getting used here. That rules out this six over here, which gives us a two, which means the six has to go here. And also since the six is getting used here, it rules out our six here. So a one must go there and a six has to go right here. All right, so what's next? Um, the three, four, we're still a little bit, uh, we don't know exactly what goes there yet, but over here, this six, I could have done this a lot sooner too. So we gotta subtract to get three, guaranteed a three goes right there. So if a three goes right there because six minus three gives us three, that's the only thing that's gonna work based on that six we did earlier. That's gonna rule out this three, making it a four, and this one becomes a three. So looking at this row here, all we have left is the five, in that row to use, that rules out this five, making it a two, and everything's gonna to start to probably fall into place. This is a five. What do we have left in these two spots? A one and a four, where well, this looking good, I just don't know where the one and the four go just yet. Um, looking around at other spots. Okay, well check this out. This three here, that rules out that three, making this a six. That means this has to be a three. All right, we gotta be able to multiply here to get six. Well, since a three gets used there, we're ruling out our three, two combo, plus that two kind of jacked that up as well from earlier. Um, so the only thing that's gonna work here is the six, one combo, um, because we've ruled out the two and the three based on what we've done so far. So since a six has already been used in this row over here, that means this has to be a one, this has to be a six, and now I think we pretty much solved it. That one rules out this one, so we have to have a four, leaves us with a one. One, two, three, five, six, we need a four here. Not even looking at what goes there. Uh, what number are we missing? A two, well, that works. Four divided by two is two. That means a one has to go here to finish out that column. And however you look at this, uh, we need a four in that spot, no matter how you look at it. A four was missing, a four was missing, and not only that, five plus four plus one gives us 10. So there you have it. That's a, a, I wouldn't say this is a super hard Ken Ken. Uh, I'd, I'd consider it a medium difficulty. And the main reason why is because we had a good starting point. That 4-1 or that 5-4 would have been a good starting point too. Uh, good starting points are where you see really only two digits are going to work. You know, the 4 and the 1, the 5 and the 4. So hopefully by me walking you through some of the key strategies that I use to solve this Ken Ken will help you solve many more and uh, hopefully improve your mental math skills. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.